Hey everybody, welcome back to the Toy Notes Studio with me, Kelsey. And today I have to welcome you to the Punderdome. This is a card game that's made the Amazon bestseller list. And being that I'm a fan of those really lame jokes like what's red and bad for your teeth, a brick, I thought the Punderdome game must be for me. Now, this says that it was based on a live game show, but I don't remember ever seeing that game show. So if any of you did, maybe comment below and tell me what you thought of the original. And today we're going to open up the card game and see how it compares with your idea of that. So opening is super easy. I took the shrink wrap off and just take the sleeve out. We've got two decks of cards as well as several other accessories. Instructions, of course. Two notepads. There's no writing utensils, so you will need a pencil. And then some mystery envelopes and some mystery prize things here. So I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer to look at these directions and also kind of explain how all of these things work together to create one great game night. Okay, so playing Punderdome is super easy. First, you're going to start off with a prompter or a moderator who's going to write a prize on two slips of this mystery envelope prize paper and stick them in the mystery envelopes. Now, one can be a really good prize while one is a really bad prize, like um, you get to, you get, I get you a drink all night long, or you have to pop the next bag of popcorn or clean my bathroom. You know, it, it could be whatever you want, um, but the point is only the beginning moderator knows what that envelope says. Everybody else just plays, and then whoever wins gets to pick just one of those envelopes and, you know, may the odds be in your favor. Now, your instructions are here, but I'm going to summarize to try to make it a little easier for you guys. Basically, what you're going to have is your first prompter, who's taking care of the envelopes, is also going to use one of these quick pun cards. Now, on the quick pun cards, you have a question. Where did the newlywed dice go on their honeymoon? Now, each team or player has just a few seconds to come up with something or the answer or their best answer. If the person gets it right or the team gets it right, they get an extra 30 seconds to work on their puns later in the game. So they went to paradise. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Now once the quick pun is done, you're gonna have green and white prompts. Now what you're having is you take the Beatles and drinking. The prompter says, the Beatles and drinking are your cards. And then let me look here, I gotta make sure. 90 seconds, okay. So you have 90 seconds, or if you're the team who won the quick pun, you get an additional 30. Now you'll have to supply a timer because there's no timer in this collection here. But fortunately, most cell phones have a stopwatch, so that works out. So at the end of the time period, the teams or players turn in their puns on the little pieces of paper, and the moderator who started the game chooses which one's the best, and then they get the points. Next, you're going to have someone else. Um, you're going to shuffle all the responses, you read them out loud, and then the winner is chosen, blah, blah, blah. Next prompter. So the next prompter is going to do the same thing. Start with a quick pun. What did the ocean call the sand after a fight? A total beach. Now this is an example of one of those puns that is funny, but a little suggestive for younger players, so I understand why this is 12 and up. Then next you'll have celebrities and driving and 90 seconds on the clock. So basically, I got to look here and see what the point the winner is the one that becomes the new prompter, so you don't have to necessarily move in left or right. But I'm looking for how many points you're trying to get to. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see a point limit. So I guess you'd have to set a point limit ahead of time, 
and say you want to get to X amount of points or X amount of puns, and then the game is over. So once you get to the end of the game and it's clear who the winning team or person is, they get to pick one of the mystery envelopes, open it, and read aloud their prize and collect it. And then the game is over if the original person who knows what's in the envelopes um, gets it ends up being the winner and gets them, then they just get to keep them and they don't have to give anybody anything. So that is the basics behind playing Punderdome. Um, it's nice that they have these color-coded cards. That way you can keep everything nice and organized and then everything fits well right inside the Punderdome box. I would have loved to seen Punderdome include a timer or some small pencils. Not that it's absolutely necessary, but it's kind of nice to have everything together. That way you can just pack up for game night and you don't have to worry about it. I will give them kudos for fitting all of this junk in such a tiny, tiny box and supplying you with enough cards where you're not going to run out of things to do. You know how some games that you buy, you play them a few times and then you kind of know all the answers and it's hard to play and have fun if you're the one that owns the game. Well, because the cards, there's so many cards and each of the cards can be a different combination, you don't really have that worry with Punderdome. You're, I mean, you've got thousands and thousands of possible combinations for puns um, and every game would be a different kind of game because you'd be you know, coming up with new and different kinds of puns. So that I like, it's not really something that's gonna run out and that's pretty cool. So guys, that was it playing Punderdome. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I summarized in a way that made sense for you all. Um, give us a comment below if you know of the live game show or if you've had a chance to play this in a group. I'd love to hear some feedback about that. And until next time, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give us a big thumbs up. Also check us out at toynotes.com where we're keeping up on the 2017 bestsellers and toy trends for you. And until next time, bye.